experts uh, are describing it as a fourth industrial revolution. And one of the key elements of this industrial revolution, which is being built upon the digital technologies or digital phase, is really connectivity. How we are increasingly getting interconnected into one big uh, universal market or economy. And therefore, the financial services industry really has to embrace this transition, leverage some of these technologies, and make sure that they stay relevant to how their clients' needs are evolving. But I think at a high level, I would suggest, and I'll make the point, that there are four underlying attributes. One is a great client experience, because in a connected age, in a digital economy, the expectation of the customers, be it institutional or consumer, is to have a great client experience. Operating model agility, which is your ability to respond to the shifts in the marketplace, which are quite dramatic, and they tend to accelerate as the world become increasingly more uh, integrated. The third one is scalability, which means a less reliance on physical infrastructure and more reliance on technology, software, and that gives you not only operating efficiency, but again, your ability to provide a better client experience. And the fourth one really is a continuous innovation as opposed to innovation in episodes. So that is where Citibank is uh, investing in a very systematic fashion. And we've been at Journey for a number of years now. Uh, so we believe that uh, we are adapting to that economy and that connected world quite effectively. Data is the oil for the digital economy. And I think if you ask me, it is the most precious asset you can have in a digital economy. Access to data and your ability to harness the data to create insights and then building on those insights, uh, delivering uh, accretive, economically accretive solutions to your clients is one of the most important determinants of the success of a business. We in City uh, process about $4 trillion a day of uh, flows, including payments, we need to make sure that we are working with our relevant partners, industry uh, infrastructure like SWIFT, regulators in different markets around the world to make sure they are upgrading their financial uh, infrastructures such as faster payments and instant payments. So our collaboration with SWIFT has been uh, very, very relevant. And we've been working with SWIFT to architect and develop new prepositions, innovative ideas. So I think the fundamental point is that ability to access data, make it available to the decision makers or your clients, I think is gonna be one of the most important determinants of the success of any business as we go into a connected economy. there is a very significant shift in the expectations of the clients. And there is clear convergence of expectation of the institution clients and the consumer clients. There is an overall shift where our clients are going where relevant, direct to consumer model. They're trying to eliminate a lot of intermediaries. Uh, there is a shift from product to services and an expectation that you will continue to give me better insights using my data. And you will help me manage my working capital cycle much better. You will help me managing my operating cycle much better. You will not only help me becoming more efficient, you will also support my business growth. Our philosophy and approach is 
that you have to fundamentally rethink how you do business before you put technology on top. Otherwise, if you are putting technology on an inefficient process, it tends to magnify the inefficiency. To stay relevant and sustain your viability as a company over the long haul in this new environment, innovation is not a choice anymore. Innovation is what you do every day. We have set up what we call four horizontals. So these are cross-functional teams who are focused on, let's say, blockchain, data and artificial intelligence, uh, cyber, security, and e-commerce. We also have rolled out a application, what we call Horizons. So we are about 26, 27,000 people in about 100 markets around the world. And the idea was that how do you make innovation mainstream? Because somebody who's sitting in the remote part of the network, how does he or she get access to the new innovation? And then, of course, we have set up what we call a D10X forum, which behaves like a venture capital, and where our employees come in, they present their ideas, they look for seed money, and they go through different stages of uh, development of those ideas. And I think it's absolutely critical that innovation does not become a side activity. It is embedded into how you do business. We are taking a systemic approach, which means that, of course, we are investing in our own technologies, our own infrastructure to acquire, to deliver a great client experience, make our operating model more scalable, agile, and continuously innovating. But we are also working with the relevant constituencies across the financial system around the world to make sure all the relevant constituencies are keeping pace with these developments and are modernizing their offering, uh, their services, so that as a financial system as a whole, we can deliver the outcome which the digital economy expects. So for example, we are in a very close collaboration with SWIFT, which has transformed itself and continues to transform itself from a utility services provider to a value-added solution provider for the digital economy. So for example, GPI, as you look at the proprietary capabilities of city, connected with partners like SWIFT, who are modernizing their infrastructure, innovating in tandem, and then you look at the upgrade of the local instant payments or the local financial infrastructure. These three, at a high level, these three constituencies will take out most of the friction, will make it a lot more efficient economically, as well as from a uh, processing and settlement standpoint. And you're doing all of that while making sure that you're managing the risk in a very responsible manner, in a very systemic manner end to end. My view is that in the next five to 10 years, our existing financial system uh, around the world will probably be as efficient as any alternative provider 